Oliver. I always thought you'd be my most brilliant student. But instead, just look how you waste your time. Gee, Professor, I've invented some great powders, but you never look at them. Now, show me what useful thing you've done. Well, look. The businessman's quick breakfast powder. Well, show me. See, the powder dissolves everything so you can have breakfast in one gulp. Those eggshells are hard to digest. <clears throat> well, people eat too fast as it is. You'll have to invent something more useful than that. Oh. I've got the Elmer Triple Tripling Powder. Elmer Triple Tripling Powder? Well, what's that supposed to do? That makes everything three times as big and as strong as it is. Look. Hey, Happy. You said you'd prepare a powder for me that'd make my girl fall in love with me. Oh, yeah. Give her that. You think if she eats one of these, it will really make her fall for me? I hope so. Gee, I knew it would work. Don't you dare give any of that to a human being. Well, you don't know what might happen. Well, then, would you try some, Professor? Yeah. No. no. Hey! Oh, how that powder of yours works! Oh, boy, oh, boy! Would you please sample this candy? We're trying to put it on the open market. You dirty. Oh, George, bring him back. <laughs> oh, George, don't throw him away. What in the world have you been doing? Experimenting. Piece of candy. Mm. Oh, Happy, I gotta tell you something. I played a joke on the professor. I oh, was in a riot. Mm. Have another candy.
Still experimenting? Yes, sir. Well, I'm going into the dean's office. You must experiment and invent something useful. Oh, I have another power. I'm not interested in any more powers. And don't you try out anything on me either. Dean, here's that report. You know, Professor, Dunstmore College has no contribution to offer at the chemist's convention today. <clears throat> That's quite true, Dean. I should like to have something that would startle the world. Yes. Something like, uh, well, uh, an earthquake. Ah. What was that? An earthquake? Earthquake nothing. That was over. Come on. <coughs> Are you all right, Elmer? I guess so. Well, what happened? There was an explosion, but we heard no sound. Noiseless explosive powder. How did you come to make this powder? I was trying to invent noiseless firecrackers. And it works. Why, do you know what you have here? This is the greatest invention of all time. You have created a new Fourth of July. And this will make blasting a pleasure. Now we can have war in peace and This comfort. will make the chemist convention sit up and take notice. Mm. Absolutely. Elmer, prepare to demonstrate this at the convention. Come, Dean. Huh? Gee, that's great, boy. That's going to make safe cracking a cinch, Muggsy. Hey, you said it, boy. No more nitroglycerin. Just plain noiseless powder. But listen, killer, how are we going to get that stuff? Why, that's easy. We're going to college, see? College. Let's go. <laughs> Very well, Dean. I'll tell Elmer to prepare. It shouldn't take a very long time. Oh. Elmer. Pack everything you need for the demonstration and meet us at the convention in the Tracy building in half an hour. How do you do, Professor? We're three professors from the Committee for the Explosive Powder. Hi, Professor Killigate. And this is Professor Lefty Doyle. Hiya, Professor. And Professor Muggsy Schultz. Hello. We're going to escort you to the meeting, see? Now, hurry up and get that powder, stupid. line those people up. Over the corner, everybody. Come on, hurry up. Get over there. Come on. Come on, hurry up. Turn your backs. Sit down. Come on, sit down. Well, where's that little guy? There he is. Under that flat rock. Come here, you. Me? Yes, you. Well, there's that little pack of it. Let's see how good that powder of yours is. Put a little on and blow it open. That's against the law. Oh, it is. Get over there and do your stuff or I'll...
I did it. But nothing's happened. Say, quit your stall and put the whole job under there. The whole jar? The works. This is going to be terrific. Well, go ahead, do it. Get it over with, will you? Have some candy. I don't want your candy. Come on, Muggsy. We've got to go back and get the right powder. Okay, fine. Uh, don't go away now. We'll be right back. Come on, you. Hello, operator. Hurry. Give me police headquarters. Hello, police headquarters. This is the easy payment loan company of the Tracy building. Attempted robbery. What? How are they dressed? In college robes and square hats. Hurry! They said they'd be right back. What has happened to Elder Triple? Well, he should be here any minute. Has he come? Not yet. And the sheet hunt. The convention will soon be over. Oh, this is terrible. Pupils, this question is a rather difficult one. Now, speaking of the races, who was the leader of the Mongolian race? You, uh, pupil back there. Mongolian race? Uh, I don't remember just what horses was in that race. <laughs> Silence, no levity, please, no levity. Well, well, well. Can I get a drink? Yes, yes, and be quick about it. Well, well, what is it? What is it? No! The idea of the discovery. What's that for? It has to have water to ignite it. Say, 
looks like rain. Water. Well, we'll be bound to bits. Yeah. Well, don't you think we ought to hurry? It's a good idea. genius Dunsmore ever turned out. Yes. I have another powder. It makes you big and strong. That's true, gentlemen. I saw it work on a parrot and a goldfish, and it made them bigger and stronger. Will you try it? Well, as we owe a duty to science, I think we all. Yes. So, gentlemen, here's to science, to bigger and better men. Oh, happy! Oh, happy! That's the fellow that did it! That's the one he did up to us! Get him! 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 Get